Hello, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to model a honeycomb easily in Blender. Press Shift A and add a circle mesh. Open up the bottom left panel and set the vertex number to 6. As you know, a honeycomb has a hexagonal shape. Press numpad 7 to switch to the top view. Click on the modifier tab and add an array modifier. Set the count value to 14. So the object will be arrayed on the x-axis based on the factor x value. X factor value should be 1. Also enable the merge option. So they will be merged if the vertices are closer to each other than the distance value. Let's add another array modifier. Disable the relative offset and enable the constant offset. So we can adjust the distance between the arrayed objects. Increase the Y offset value. Decrease the X offset value, enable the Merge option, and increase the Merge Distance value. As you can see, the vertices will be merged from a certain distance. Set the count value to 10. Press Tab key to switch to Edit Mode. In order to see the modifier result in Edit Mode, enable the Edit Cage option. Alright, we're going to extrude the model on the Z axis. Hit the E key, then Z key, and extrude the model enough. Switch back to object mode. We're going to add some thickness to the model. Let's add a solidify modifier. Switch to the top view. Increase the thickness value a little bit. Set the thickness value to 0.1. As you can see, not all edges have the same thickness. To fix this problem, Switch the Solidify mode to Complex. That's it. We can also increase the offset value to have a smoother shape. Alright, we have made a honeycomb, but we need to make it a square shape. To do this, we're going to cut through the honeycomb. Firstly, let's apply the modifiers from top to bottom. Switch to Edit mode. Hit the A key to select all vertices. Be sure that all vertices are selected. In the left toolbar menu, go over the knife tool, hold down the left mouse button, and switch to the bisect tool. If you want, you can watch my tutorial about bisect tool before going on. Switch to the top view. Drag the mouse and draw a cutting line. Open up the bottom left panel and enable the clear inner option. That's it. Also enable the fill option to fill the cut. In the same way, cut through the other side. Alright. To cancel the bisect tool, choose the selection tool. Switch to object mode again. A honeycomb has two layers. So we will add a plane that divides the honeycomb into two layers. Add a plane. Switch to the top view and move the plane to the center of the honeycomb. Switch back to Edit Mode, S key to scale up. Select the edge and move on the x-axis. In the same way, select the other edge and move on the x-axis. Switch back to Object Mode and move up the plane on the z-axis. Add a Boolean modifier for the plane. The Boolean type will be Difference. Select the honeycomb as the Boolean object. Apply the modifier. Switch to Edit Mode again. Hold down the Shift key and select these faces. Press X key and delete the faces. Hit the A key to select all vertices and hit the E key to extrude just a little bit. Switch back to Object Mode. Select the plane, hold down the Shift key and select the honeycomb. Press Ctrl J to make them join. That's it. We have made a honeycomb. Rename the object as Honeycomb in the Outliner Editor. Right-click, Set Origin, and set the origin to Geometry. So the center of the geometry will be the origin point. Press Numpad 1 to switch to Front View. 
Press Shift D to duplicate the honeycomb and move the object to the other side. Press R key to rotate and G key to move and put the honeycomb in a proper place. Go to the viewport shading menu and enable the cavity option. Switch the cavity type to world so we can see the model better in the viewport. All right, let's model a plate to put the honeycombs in. Go to the outliner editor, click on the eye icons and hide the honeycombs in the viewport. Add a UV sphere. Right click and make shade smooth. Switch to edit mode, switch to front view. Press Alt-Z to switch to X-ray mode. Select these faces. Press Ctrl-Y to invert the selection. Press Delete key and delete the faces. Press Alt-Z to turn off the X-ray mode. Switch to Edge Selection mode. Hold down the Alt key and click the left mouse button to select the edge loop. Hit the F key to create a new face from the edge. Hit the I key to inset the face. Press Ctrl-R to add a new loop cut and drag the mouse to slide the edge loop. In the same way, add another loop cut and slide the edge loop upside. Switch back to object mode, add a solidify modifier. Set the thickness value to 0.03. Add a subdivision surface modifier. Set the viewport subdivision level to two. That's it. Move up the plate on the Z axis. Right-click and set the origin to the 3D cursor. Unhide the honeycombs. Select the honeycombs and scale down so that they fit inside the plate. All right. In the next tutorial, we're going to fill the honeycombs with honey using the Blender Fluid Simulation. Also, we're going to add materials. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.